Lifetime value of a client. So let's talk about specifically this. If a person is coming to your business, how much money are you charging them for your service or your product? If you're a plastic surgeon and you're charging somebody $4,000 and we're able to bring you three new patients a month, obviously we're bringing in $12,000 of gross revenue for your business. Now, if we're able to bring you 10 people at an average of $4,000, we're able to bring you $40,000 of gross revenue. Same applies for an orthodontist. If you charge $6,000 gross for your braces service, then we bring you three patients that convert. That's $18,000 of income that came in, gross income that came into your business. If you're a restaurant and it's a different, a much lower ticket item that a person comes in, pays, you know, average 50 to hundred dollars per meal, but they come to your restaurant 12 times over the course of the next year, the lifetime value for the year of that new client for you is basically, let's say 50 times 12, and that's $600 from a new client acquisition. Everybody's different, but the point is that when you evaluate how much each new client is worth to you, this should give you an understanding of how much money you should be spending on your advertising. Now, if you're running ads on Facebook, if you run ads on Facebook, approximately for $500, you can hit 20 to 30,000 people. But from that 20 to 30,000 people, how many people are gonna go to your website? From those people, how many are going to actually buy from your website or book an appointment or make a phone call? The number really is, First-time web visitors, under 10% of first-time web visitors that come to your website the first time convert into a paying new client. Now, if we're able to remarket to these people, then we are starting to cook with grease. So what does this mean? 90% of the people that left your website, we spent $500 on Facebook to show your brand. Let's say 10% of those people, 2,000 people came to your website. Now that's from 20,000 people, 2,000 came to your website. If you don't have a retargeting structure in place, those 2,000 people left your website. Let's say 5% of 2,000 converted on your website. That's 100 people are inquired. A conversion from a website visit is an inquiry. So from 2,000 people, 5% converted. So that's 100 people inquired to your business. Now let's say from those 100, 100 people, only 5% converted into new patients. So that's five new people that came to your business times, if you're a plastic surgeon, let's say $4,000 average ticket, that's five people times 4,000, that's $20,000 of income that came into your business. Now you always have to tie it back to the fact that if you hit 20,000 people, 2,000 came to your website, that's 10% of the people that saw your ad came to your website, and then of those two of those 2000 only 5% of the people actually inquired on their first visit the rest of that 1950 people you have the opportunity to remarket and instead of spending $500 on 20000 people you get to spend $200 remarketing and readvertising to a selected group of people who visited your website those 2000 people become a part of your marketing habitat. They are people who know who you are, they've been to your website, not all of them spent a lot of time on your website, but they were there, they'll remember. And we have the ability to serve them ads, not just on one platform, we literally create a system where every place they go after they leave your website digitally, they're going to get reminder ads. Now it's a fully optimized marketing system and we started this conversation talking about the lifetime value of a new client, uh, the value of, uh, of, of closing somebody that didn't know who you were by utilizing social media to create ads, to run ads to your target audience, the specific people in, where we can target their ages, their income brackets, their demographic, their interest levels. I mean, their, their interests in, in regards to what they, what they browse for on the internet. And we're able to bring these large volumes of people from advertising on social media. So the question is, how much money does each of your new potential clients either bring you in the immediate moment 
or over the course of the lifetime. If a $4,000 ticket item for plastic surgery converts to $4,000 on the first day, what about the additional services that you can re-offer to that person? A person can equal $20,000 and from $500 on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, we can target people specifically based on their interests in the specific age bracket that you're looking for, localize geofence to where your business is, bring them to your website, and then re-advertise to them. It's a, it's a, it's a win-win situation, it's a no-brainer situation, and the cost of this acquisition is so low and so amazing that because technology is advancing so fast, you have this basically once-in-a-lifetime opportunity because a lot of your competitors are still sitting idle. They're sitting on their hands and they're neglecting this technology. Don't let your business be one of these people because I constantly, daily basis, evaluate businesses that are doing something on Google, but they're not retargeting their audience. They're advertising on Google AdWords, on the search, and a person comes to their website and they have no remarketing strategy whatsoever. So instead of saying, what's the lifetime value of a client, let's say, is my digital marketing system in place? Are we strategizing how many people we want per month to come in as new patients in addition to the repeat business or the word of mouth business or the referral business that we're currently getting? These are all very valid and important elements to creating a real marketing system and a real strategic plan on how you're going to deal with the digital advancements that are happening in the world today. So... This is what we specialize in, and we don't just specialize in technology, really. We specialize in evaluating businesses, what your goals are, what your short-term goals are, what your long-term goals are, and creating real systems and real strategic executions and budgets on how many people do we need to bring to the website? How many people do we need to retarget to bring them back to the website? How many times, over what period of time, what specific target audience are you looking for? What are their interests? We evaluate your previous customers. We look at the ad, we look at the, we look at the, we look at the data. You have data, but are you using your data today? That's the question. So if this is interesting for you, please feel free to reach out. We specialize in, 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 in digital marketing blueprints. We specialize in digital marketing systems. We create traffic. We convert that traffic. And if that traffic doesn't convert on their first visit, well, we're going to continue to stay with that traffic through a retention system, a retention system, a remarketing, re-advertising system that utilizes the current technology that can track every single IP address of every web visitor and then reserve those IP addresses, those specific technological devices that we're all so addicted to today with your ads as reminders that the person was interested in your product. So... Let's talk, let's get you, on, let's get you optimized, let's, let's get you on the latest digital advancement uh, system and let's make it happen for your business to, to not only just you know, win, but let's thrive. Let's, let's, let's do great things together and uh, we can definitely help you with that. Thank you very much for watching and look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.